Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperia and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less. Ah, uh, obvious rewards. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. some sort of radiation leak I don't know about. <laughs> what is happening right now I ask the questions Okay, then do you mind asking yourself what you're doing? Oh! <laughs> Ow, what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. I'm not a patient person, so just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to find to be rabbit, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was 
concentrating on the I important know, things. What's the first thing you're gonna buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Yeah, I figure I could get lunch. Seems like a good place to start. Well, then we're starting with three of whatever's most expensive. Sure. And wine pairings. For lunch? We're gonna get twisted, bro. If I'm not puking up $500 in food and alcohol this afternoon, then we are doing it wrong. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep. Sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Hey, hey, we made it, okay? We're in this together. If I'm moving up, we're all moving up. You can be certain of that. I appreciate that, Reese. You know, people around here have short memories when it comes to that stuff. You, me, Yvette, we're gonna run this place. Yes, we are. All right, man, let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. Hmm. No, oh, we need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back, uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So, you might not have been in the loop. Well, congratulations on your promotion. I love what you've done with the office. Going for the whole minimalist thing. Oh, that's cute. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. Because <laughs> I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North, why the handsome guy always gets the girl, and why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. It's destiny, race, And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you could hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. Wow, I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million, yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Ugh. Why do the biggest scumbags always uh. have the best view? <sighs> that should be me. Only less... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Vasquez. No, 
Three years sucking up to the guy. Do Out you the want window. the money or not? Because I... It's not. No, it won't be a big deal for me to get... Yes. Yeah, that's what we had before. It's a lucky day, August, and I just got this promotion. Are you going? Why are you turning this into a whole thing right now? What a waste. Such a nice suit. Not yet. Look, I'll have to go back. Wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, say hi to your mom. Damn it! Ah, oh, right. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Before we were so rudely interrupted. You were lecturing me. It was taking a while. All right, your uh, promotion. Henderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you... I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm gonna make you assistant vice... janitor. What? No. No, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. I'm your boss, Reese. Get used to that. This is what I'm talking about when I say humility. That was lesson number two. Don't make lesson number three about a number two. What? Don't make me crap on the floor and make you clean it up! You're dismissed, Reese. I'll let you know when I need my trash can emptied. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us! He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, Vaughn. I'm finished. You know who this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it! No, 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 they can't. Not yet, unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta keep it on the down low until we figure something out. It's not that bad yet. Senior Vice Janitor Reese to Sector D451 for trash cleanup. Because that is your job now, to clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something? I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Henderson's dead. What? Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, you can ask him yourself. He's floating outside in space! It's that prick Vasquez. He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to trash man. 
Holy crap. So does that mean you're not buying? Well, just trying to lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... We can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. What? No way. We hit back. We steal his deal. We steal his deal. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is its vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Asquez, we have a friggin' vault key! I mean, what are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting. I mean, it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone? Call me if you don't get killed, Whoa, whoa, right? whoa, hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. Well, things get dicey. Look, it's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends! Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Richter was an asshole, and his family are assholes. Come on, I'll buy you the lunch I owe you when we get back. Fine. But you're buying me lunch now, and when you get back. <laughs> Done. We only got a couple hours. Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Standard? Really? I mean, you can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it just... If you're gonna steal something, I uh, figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. Person. What'd you cross right there? Oh, crap. I think we... I think we killed it. Are we murderers now? 
We're, we're murderers. We're murderers. Great, great, we murder. You know, I, I thought it would take longer than 20 seconds before that happened. Well, at least it didn't suffer. Yeah, I guess. Sucks, though. Yeah. Sucks. So, what do we say if someone asks where we got the money? What do you mean? Well, I mean, what do we tell people? We should have a story. I, mean, I would prefer not to tell them that we stole it from Hyperion. That would not go over well. We just tell them the truth, that we stole it. How is that a good idea? Hey, we're on Pandora. We'll actually get more street cred if it seems like we're bigger criminals than we are. Uh, okay, that makes sense. So, this looks... Not good. Uh, got ourselves a go here. What are you looking at? It's Pandora. What did you expect? Yeah, no, I know. Uh, I, I guess I'm just now more acutely aware that I have ten million dollars chained to me. Is all. In a neighborhood, I might add, of back planet nut jobs. I'm just getting a vibe, you know. Just keep your eyes open for the place, okay? I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. Yeah. And uh, watch the money. Oh, really? Listen, one tap on the arm, and Yvette can send down a loader bot if things get too entertaining. That's true. And she gave me this. It is a stun baton. I do not know how it works, but it's definitely neat. Yeah, stick. Neato. God, I can't wait to be in that chair. You, and me, Yvette. I mean, we bring this key back, and they're gonna make us the once and future kings of that place for sure. They'll send in a crew to use the key, and then that's it. Then it's kick back on the moon beach time. Don't think so small, my friend. We're not just going to run Hyperion. We're going to be responsible for plundering a vault. And you can count on two fingers the number of people who have even gotten close to that. Yeah. Tracker's beep beep beeping, but I don't see the place. It's the world of curiosities, right? Yeah, do you see it? No. Could ask one of them. They seem normal-ish. Normal-ish enough. Anyway. What an excellent idea. I thought so myself. Do you know where the World of Curiosities is? Uh... It should be around here. You lost? Um... What are you here for? It's just a simple business deal. A few papers to sign, and then we're out. Easy. Huh. Those the papers? Of a sort? You're Hyperion. You wake suckers ruined this town, you know that? Atlas were bastards, but at least they had the good sense to fail. When Jack came in, he turned everything to smoke. <sighs> okay. What's it gonna take, huh? How much? 20? 50? <laughs> It'd take a lot more than that. Hey, little man. What's in the case? Hey, kitty cat, show us what's in the case. <laughs> okay, now, look, before we get all bent... <laughs> oh. Is there, like, a convention or something? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Bandits. You know what we got here? Reese, do the... We got a couple Hyperion warmongers, gentlemen. The bot! Yvette, prime it! Already? Really? Just... 
Should we tell them what we do with Hyperion workers? Who is that? Reese, come on, just get it. Motorbot deployed. Time to clock in. Listen, boys. You're gonna hand over that case. Are you handing over your heads? Your choice. Look, guys, let's talk about this. Quiet all of a sudden. Hi. Kill them all! Why isn't it doing anything? Angry eyes detected. Awaiting instruction. It only does what I tell it to! Oh, tell it to do something already! Please stop shooting me. Engaging target. See? Piece of cake. War does not compute. What is it good for? And ever since Jack died, the loader bots have been getting smarter and smarter. I like to think we all have. Must really have to go. That is not good. Come on. These cost so much. Thank you kindly. Wait, 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 wait! Uh, Motorbot, go get the car. Stop, thieves!
What did you do with Bond? What the hell should I know? Your freaking bot tossed us both out. Now kindly stand still and die. Yeah. Huh. That's all I wanted to know. We could have avoided all of this. Ow! Get your ass gone! Okay, okay, okay. Loader bot, put the car down. Sure thing. Bandits. Imminent. Please do something! Weapon subsystem requires your attention. All right. We'll have to improvise. Time to get funky. Reese, just tell it to run. Self-destruct option Ow. available. Let me. Parting is such sweet sorrow. I will name my firstborn Loderbot. Oh, you know, pr probably not, but... I... I can't believe we're alive. I mean, I, I never want to see somebody's brains come out of their nose. Not ever again. That... that was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life. Which should probably be over by now. It's over now. We made it. I mean, his brains just... just like... Like snot. Yes. Okay, that was awful. I agree. But we got through it, you know, and that probably shouldn't have happened. At least now we know we can handle ourselves. If what? If brains ooze out of people's noses? Well, yeah. Basically. I guess you sort of have a point somewhere in there. All right, let's just find this guy, August. Buy the key. Get the hell out of here.
Ugh, does every animal on this planet have to look like a giant monster? You know, the stuffed animals was one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. Right this way to the world-famous hall of Pandoran luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Please watch your step and marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. Uh... Boom, not to be confused with his brother Boom, was the first mate of Captain Flint. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Who around here doesn't? Pandoran resident and fine dining connoisseur, Shade, was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors in Oasis. Not in the least bit insane, he will be missed. I am really not into this at all. Oh, I remember this guy. He was an asshole. Formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs! No witty rejoinder? You must be more traumatized than I am. Hey, you still got his Hyperion ID chip. Really? Keep it. Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Oops. The once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steel. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on with this? Oh, it's locked. Oh, come on, are you serious? Well, this feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Well, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. Are you two not just the handsomest devils I've seen in ages? <laughs> uh, why are you pretending to be dead? What? <laughs> dead? No, 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 no. Asleep, maybe. Dead. That's your... You're getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> what? 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 What is this? Is this part of the... Like, some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! I'm Shade, and this 
is my world of curiosities. Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> <clears throat> but, unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course. No. <laughs> I mean, we can do other things. You're already here. <laughs> we, we can just hang out. We're looking for a man in August. We're supposed to meet him here. You know anything about that? Oh, sure. Sure. Why didn't you say so? Huh? <laughs> You're late, actually. Yeah, we know. Yeah? If you want to buy something strange and illegal, this is certainly the place to do it! My grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know? A real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. The place itself. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting 10 million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. I assume you'd have that kind of scratch as walk around money. Yeah, <laughs> well, sorry we're late. Getting here was a little more complicated than we thought it'd be. Yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a friggin' bug stampede, some jerk off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already.